Hello, and welcome to the training module configuring SAM L in Azure. In this module, you will first learn how to integrate SAM L, or Security Assertion Markup Language, in Azure, an enterprise identity service. You will also learn how to integrate a MySonic Wall user account with Azure for authentication, and then validate the login integration. Let's begin with an introduction to how SAM L allows you to log in to multiple applications after authenticating the user once. IDP, or Identity Provider, is an organization that offers user authentication as a service and stores and manages digital identities. An IDP workflow typically involves the following steps. A request. The user can enter credentials from another login, such as Google or Facebook or Twitter. Verification. The IDP checks with the company's IT to determine if the user has access and the level of access. Unlocking. The user gains access to the specified resources, and the visit is logged. IDPs often work with single sign-on SSO providers to authenticate users. A security assertion markup language, or SAML, is a standardized way to authenticate users to external applications and services. SAML single sign-on SSO allows you to log into multiple web applications after logging into the identity provider. You can log into your corporate intranet and then access numerous additional services, such as Salesforce, Box, etc. without having to re-enter your credentials. A typical SAM LSSO authentication process involves three parties. User or the user who is trying to access a cloud-hosted application. Identity provider, IDP, such as Azure, a public cloud computing platform from Microsoft. Azure is an enterprise cloud IDP that provides SSO and multi-factor authentication for SAM L apps. Service provider, such as the cloud-hosted application or service such as Gmail, MS Office 365, Google Drive, AWS, Slack, Skype, etc. Now, let's configure the SAM L, Security Assertion Markup Language, web application in Azure. The first step is to log in to Microsoft Azure. After logging in, the Azure Overview panel displays. To select SAM L, click Enterprise Applications on the left menu panel. Click Add New Application. Click Create Your Own Application. Here, we enter a name for the app. A sample name has been entered for you. Click Create. Click the Get Started link under Setup Single Sign-On. Click SAM L. Under the Basic SAM L Configuration section, click Edit. Click Add Identifier. Next, we will enter the Entity ID and the Reply URL information. To get the Entity ID and the Reply URL for MSW, log in to www.mysonicwall.com. Click the Logged in Username in the top right corner of the window. Click the Username. We are now taken to My Account, Settings page. Under Additional Options, enable the Use External Identity Provider toggle button. Under Choose the IDP Organization, click Azure. Under the section on how to set up in Azure, click the link to set up configuration here. The screen will display the required information. Copy the Entity ID and the SAM L redirect URL links. Navigate back to the Azure screen and enter or paste the Entity ID copied from MSW. Note that you will see a check mark validating the link, as shown on the screen. Click Add Reply URL. Type or paste the reply URL copied from MSW. Note that you will see a check mark validating the link. The reply URL has been entered for you. Click Save. 
A successful confirmation message is displayed on the screen. The panel has been scrolled down for you. Copy the App Federation metadata URL. Next, we will create a user. To begin, click Home. To begin creating a user, click View, under Manage Azure Active Directory. Click Users on the left menu panel. Click Add New User. Next, click Invite External User. The new user panel displays. A sample username and email address have been entered for you. Click Invite. A successful confirmation message displays on the screen. In the email inbox, click the link sent to the given email address. Next, enter the password and click Sign In. To stay signed in, click Yes. Click Accept to grant permission. We are now logged into Azure with the sample external user account. To log out click the username at the top right corner. Click Sign Out. Next, click Home. We will go to the app and assign access to the user. Click View under Manage Azure Active Directory. Click Enterprise Applications. Click the MSW SAM L application. Next, click Assign Users and Groups. Click Add User Group. Next, click None Selected. Select the DU user name from the list. Click Select. Click Assign. A successful confirmation message displays on the screen. The next step is to navigate back to the MSW IDP setup page. Enable the checkbox for the option I have access to Azure Metadata URL. Paste the metadata URL copied from Azure, which is the App Federation metadata URL. The metadata URL has been entered for you. Note that the SSO URL and the X509 certificate fields are auto-populated. Click Connect and Save. A successful confirmation message is displayed on the screen. The MySonic Wall Azure SAM L setup is complete. To exit from MSW, you click the logged in username at the top right corner of the screen and log out. In this section, we will test if the SAM LIDP setup for MSW login is working as expected. We begin by navigating to www.mysonicwall.com. The account username for whom IDP is set up on MSW has been entered for you. Click Next. The default MSW panel displays on the screen confirming that the login was successful. This brings us to the end of this training module. IDP, or Identity Provider, is an organization that offers user authentication as a service and stores and manages digital identities. Azure is a public cloud computing platform from Microsoft. Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML, is an open standard for exchanging authentication and authorization data between an identity provider and a service provider. SAML Single Sign-On SSO, allows you to log into multiple web applications after logging into the identity provider.